know that real love really Sometimes you can't explain it. it just comes out like gibberish. Looking at your picture. Hi guys, Miss Naturally Mary here, and today I'm here to talk to you guys about Private Stock Hair. I have their hair in right now. Although this looks like a really natural look, it looks like it could potentially be mine. Guys, it's not. Can you believe that? This hair looks so flawless. I have been wanting this shape and this style for some time now and I actually created this unit myself. Model. When I first went about creating this look, I went through the process of paddling out the hair. So I paddled it out and let me tell you, this hair when you paddle it out, it gives you so much life. It just, if you were down and out, that hair, that look will just brighten your day. When I paddled that hair out, I had to just sit there and just look at it for a while because it looked amazing like it was so cute I would literally walk out of the house like that so first I paddled it out and then I went through the process of actually cutting the hair and when I cut the hair I actually went up you'll notice that I either went up as I cut or I went down and I try to do a diagonal because I wanted there to be some longer length at the top and to have this heart shape so you want to cut down when you're doing yeah. that so paddling it out will give you a sense of the length that you have with the hair and then you're able to go in and just get the length as you like it. And then after I paddled it out, I sprayed it with water and conditioner and I originally sprayed it with water and trust me natural conditioner and that's it. But when it dried, I didn't really care for how it turned out. So I went back and used my conditioner that I use all the time with my extensions, which is Argan Oil of Morocco, their conditioner, and I use olive oil, water, and I did not use the mousse that I used in the beginning. So uh, the results just came out so much better, and just that touch of oil just gives it added moisture, and it just makes it feel just so amazing. So I applied that, and then I went through with my Denman brush, and I just brushed it through and I actually used my blow dryer without a diffuser which is probably the mistake that I made and I actually tried to dry the hair well when I did that I don't know if it was the uh, mousse or if it was just that I blow dry it I have no idea but it looked kind of dry so I went back in and I applied those products um, the olive oil the Moroccan oil or I'm sorry the argan oil conditioner along with water. I applied that to the hair, brushed it through with my paddle brush again, and then I allowed it to air dry. And to achieve the curls, some of the hair has curls that are a bit more clumped together. So in order to achieve those curls, I just took sections of hair and I just wrapped it around my finger as you see here. And then you guys know what's next. You use that pick to bring it to life. And I've just been shaking my hair. I've been going in and just, I like to actually lift the hair and then pick under just so it has some height. So that's just what I did to achieve this look. And I may play around with it some more. I'm still kind of debating whether or not I'm going to cut the bang some more but I think I, I like it the way it is I think I wanted a little more messy though but we'll just kind of play around with it private stock hair and this is their go natural texture the great thing about private stock hair is that they have seven different textures as you all know if you are natural or if you have been studying the natural hair community um, just the different things that goes along with being natural you know that our hair texture is not one that can be boxed in um, we have so many different textures there's so many different curl patterns so many different types and PS hair or private stock hair, they've done an amazing job of mimicking the hair textures that comes with all sorts of naturals. Um, they have kinky texture, they have coily, they have curly, they have go natural, faux natural, kinky straight. They have all these different textures 
that is just commendable. I think it's just amazing what so many hair companies have gone about doing, which is creating hair that looks like our hair texture. And it allows us to be able to protect the style, treat our hair, and just get the looks that we desire without having to put a whole lot of work into our own hair. The hair that I received is the Go Natural Texture. It is actually in lengths 14, 16, and then I have an 18 at the top. And the closure is a 14 inch closure. And I did that so that I could have the shorter bangs in the front and not have to cut too much. Um, but what I noticed about this hair is that the texture in the bundles and the texture of the closure is a bit different. I'm not sure if that was done by accident or if this is the actual texture of the closure that's the same as the texture as the hair um, in the bundles. But the texture in the closure is kinkier than the texture in the bundles. And sometimes that does happen with hair companies. And it wasn't really a problem. I was a little leery about how much I would love this look because I wasn't sure if the hair at the top or the closure hair would actually blend with the bundle hair. But I think what I love about it is that it actually makes it look more realistic. Because of the natural texture that I have for my actual hair is more kinkier textured. I think because this hair is kinkier at the top and then it's more curly at the bottom, I think it makes it look more natural, which is awesome. So although these textures are not similar, they actually still do create more of a natural look. So if it was done by accident or on purpose, it actually worked out in the end because I think it looks phenomenal with the two different textures. And you all know with naturals, not all naturals have the same hair texture. You have a, a slew of different textures in your head. And I don't actually have that. I wish I had different textures in my hair but I only have one texture which is kinky <laughs> but the West they came really nicely constructed they were very thick and I'll show you guys a picture of what the West look like they are very thick and the quality of this hair is impeccable it actually has a longevity of four years so when you're purchasing this hair or if you're interested in this hair know that it's a great investment because it just lasts so long four years worth of wear with extensions that is rare the bundle size was also a four ounce instead of a three and a half ounce which is your typical amount that you get with a normal bundle which is really really good and their lengths actually go from an eight inch to a 26 inch so whether you want hair that is like short or down to your bottom <laughs> then they have something that would accommodate you i wish you guys could touch this hair like it feels so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this hair. Let me know what you think about the shape. If you think I did a good job with it. I'll leave all the specs with this hair down below, the website address. And um, they also have an Instagram account that you need to follow. They don't have as many followers as they deserve. You all need to go follow them. They have some amazing textures, amazing hair. So just... Look out for more videos on this hair. Give me some ideas on what you want to see with this hair. Y'all know I'm going to do the top knot. I, wear, I do that look so often. I think it would be cute with this shape. Having my hair up in a bun at the top and then out at the bottom. I think that would be adorable. So I'll talk to you all soon. I look forward to hearing your comments and your feedback. Remember to like this video, subscribe, and share with a friend.